previously on Life with Me Plus Two. And look to my left, what you think I see? A big ass looks like. No, I and the fuck's on Joe? Yes, we're not. Oh, God. That's the screen, Dina. Legs up. Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina. So I realized that I did not come back and say hello to you guys at this portion of the vlog. So we are at our excursion with Chukka Caribbean Tours. So look them up. Um, now we are actually doing the river rafting with the limestone massage. So you guys enjoy. <laughs> Now, what's your name, sir? I'll soon tell you. Okay. No, we, we have to do the protocol. We load, we push out and don't cause no obstruction. Okay. Then we do the introduction. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm Captain Howard. Howard. Howard, nice yes. to meet you. Nice Howard. to meet you. And you are? DJ. Or? DJ. 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 I'm uh, gonna have a lot of problem remembering that. <laughs> I may even bite my tongue to call it again. <laughs> Deja. D. Max Sandra. Ma oh man, man. Just call me Max. Just call me Max. Just Max is good. Anyhow, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Once the flies go through the ovarium and get into the valve, no return. So they were stuck here for life until mm -hmm. they're dead. Oh right? wow. So it's the original Venus fly trap. Well like geese or duck or I something. thought it was a snake when you were coming. <laughs> All right. So to open it. Oh wow. And this plant in mine it's 120 percent female. So mm -hmm. don't be surprised, right? Yep, they they're Venus fly traps. <laughs> That's so pretty. It is. So it will stay like that on the tree. Then it builds a stench up. 
Mm -hmm. And that trucks the flies in. Mm -hmm. When the fly go in, they can't get out. That can't come out. So how much? So how many flies do you think it can catch? Can catch up to all two dozen, three dozen, depends to the amount that's flying around at yeah. the moment, right? One, and this is the digestive part. So once they get there, no return. Yeah. Wow. Right. See this part look like thorns? It's not thorns. It's like wool or velvet, but it's really the top move around. You can touch it. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. Soft like velvet or wool. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Money, money, man, looks up. Money pocket, money yeah, money yeah, money money yeah, money yeah, we make make push it. Money man a look, man a look, money man a look. So, 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 so. Songs like these, like keeps people them it and also to my flow them up them to me. But I'm me style, I'm it, me I'm it. Just to get them autographs, sign oh. them, come on. Yeah. Money we a look, we have the hand the money with. Now type the money scale balance, I try plus it. Hungry? No sir, food a pin a pin a. That's a fit up, not a nazi, not a diop. Yeah man, money yeah. Money up, money, money, money up, make, make, push it. Money man a look so, money, money man a look so, money push it. Money up, money up, money, money up, money up, make, make, push it. Money man a look, man a look, money man a look so, money. Right. You're not going to feel it no other time. Yeah. And you you go to a real party with us here mm -hmm. and you're taking part in our activity. Yeah. But in the hotel, then teach the workers, them that work in the hotel, to act like tourists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous back here, honey. Look at this.
at the water. I wonder what resort that is. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Good morning, you guys. It's still morning? Yes. <laughs> It is Sunday morning, the day before we leave, and our chef prepared our breakfast. Um, his name is Dan Roy, you guys. I'll put his Instagram um, in the description box. But look at this breakfast. Look at this goodness. No, I'm just saying. Mackerel, I can't saltfish, kalalu, fried plantain, green banana, fried yeah. dumpling, yam, and boiled dumpling. Boy, boy. And a little of the 
mimosas. When I say this shit good, it's good. It's good, good. And I know it's gonna be good just because it was cooking and it smells so good. Mm -hmm. I'm not yelling yam type of girl now. Mm -hmm. You, you like, like white yams? Hmm? You like the orange ones? I'm a white yam kind of girl. But I like to, I like to crush my white yam when I eat. That's mm -hmm. why. The yellow is so hard, but it's good you know. I eat it for a love it. What's up? Is it still recording? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to So the chef is here with us all day. He's doing breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm about to eat all of it. That's all of it. Eat macro, eat macro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, yesterday was absolutely amazing. Amazing. Even though I got sick, y'all, I got real <laughs> sick. DJ got sick, sick. <laughs> that we almost had to beat this girl down on the bus. You had to beat her down. Had to beat this girl down on the bus because she was extra for no reason. For no reason. Because DJ was not feeling well. Everybody came through. All, Everybody. all, all the folks, all the black folks came My through. My black people came through. Your girl, okay? Mm -hmm. But yeah. But yeah, it was cool. Yes, it was amazing. My favorite part oh, has been the horseback ride. I mean, I enjoyed the zip lining in the water, but it has been a horseback ride. I think that was it. That, that, that shot right, right there was an experience. In both parts, too. The water and, and on land. And on land. They, they were good. I had an amazing time yesterday. Wait, what was the best part? Or was the rafting the best part? No, I think the rafting. No, I hope that was the best part. It was the most exciting. Yeah, it was the most exciting. So I've never ridden a horse before. So that part for me, conquering my fear, was like the most exciting part for me yeah. because I did it for all the two. So I was scared to ride the horse and I was scared to zip line because I'm afraid of heights. But I conquered both fears. So, if I can do it, kiddos, you can do it too. <laughs> I would do all that over again. Especially all you. Because I have never met anyone who doesn't know how to swim, but is not afraid of the water. Most people don't know how to swim, they're afraid of the water. I love the water, I just can't swim. I just stay where I can stand up. <laughs> <laughs> and that ain't very far, because maybe I'm only 5'2". But I just stay where I can stand up. I love the ocean. Beautiful. We have Xavier on the front of the swim. I gotta learn how to swim. All of us. Xavier don't know how to swim. You don't know how to swim? I took them to swim a lesson, but it was heavy on me to do. So it's like, what's the point? What's the point, right? And now every summer they're not with me. So I'll make sure I don't get them. They ain't gonna take me swimming. Probably take them to the water park. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to ride now. She's 14, almost 15 in three weeks. She ain't going to the water. I know she ain't learned by now. No, she needs to learn. We are going to go I'm going to find some time and sign up at the Y and go swimming. But I have to tell you all a story why I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to swim because of Andre Beckford, my brother, and his best friend, Chris. We went swimming, me and, me and my cousin Colleen. Went to the swimming class, and you know how they give you the rules and tell you don't do this, don't do that, don't throw somebody in the water, don't dunk them their head in. And that's yeah. what they did. We were the um the demonstration. It was over for me. After. I, never, <laughs> <laughs> I never went back. I was like, no, I'm good. And Andre's a good swimmer. He had a swimming scholarship. I know what you're telling me. Yeah. He's an amazing swimmer. And I can't. <laughs> yeah, the white paper into his college. Mm -hmm. As long as he came back to work there for a while. But I can't swim. I love the ocean. We might have a ocean day. And we can get our full of rocks. Yeah. It's not supposed to rain rain, though. 
This mackerel is amazing, mm -hmm. y'all. Oh my god, we should have to taste this. Yeah, it's not supposed to rain at all. It's just windy. It's windy up until like 3 o'clock. We tell me how we start getting ready to go out. Tonight? Mm -hmm. Same time we did last night. Like, I'm going to do it the last night, so that's 10.30. Mm -hmm. So we have most of the day to kind of get our hold of them. And what we got, they time to pack our shit up to pack me out tomorrow. Well, I'm packing tonight. You don't have tonight? Because I have to do the food and stuff, so I want to be able to know what I'm doing and I'm not rushing and thinking about it. So I might not pack everything tonight, but I'm going to pack it tonight. I'm pretty much packed. That's for my sister. Keep mind that. She she got herself at home, child, baby, in the closet, everything in the closet. Took her shit out, put it in the closet, laid everything out as if she was at home. Mm -hmm. It's like, baby, we are. Mm -hmm. You know, for a week. And I kept everything in my suitcase. And anyway, we'll be back. It's delicious. It's showed all your business inside. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. You're on vacation, right? Let me do it this way. It's better than yours. She in swimsuit, y'all. I can't show y'all everything because I know YouTube will flag me, but this is from Sheen. Funny story, I didn't know how to put this on yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Deidre had to put it on. But hello, cute little Sheen swimsuit. Anywho, we ain't really really doing anything. We're about to play some music and it's gonna be copyrighted, so we'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Rich niggas. Yeah. You know, so yeah. we ain't really never had no Nobody grit the trigger, nobody call up the gang 
push it. Money man a look so. Money, money man a look so. Money push it. Money up, money up, money up, money up. Money up make, make. Hey guys, so I we are going out. It's our last night here. We're going out. There goes my ring and on my little nail thing. But this is what I have on. A little tie up shirt. Some cute little shorts. I just discovered this mirror and some sandals in this bag from Shein. These shorts are actually from Amazon. Shirts from Shein, bags from Shein. I forgot where I got these from. Our uh, 999 shoe store. Um, but this is it, I gotta hurry up. Earrings are from Shein. Put a little cute little makeup on real quick and that's it. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Anywho, so I'ma see y'all later, the drivers outside. Bye y'all. Racist ass Texas. But here's the thing with that. Here's the thing with that. I was listening to Mr. Brown when he was doing his um his tour commentary. Yeah. And he was saying that there's no welfare here. Yeah. And what I can appreciate. Hi, Jamaica. At the airport.